as Bala Sulam explains in the end to the introduction of the Book of Zohar, divides into internality and externality. We see the external world, and inside it, there is also the internal world. The difference is not like between these two forms, where one is merely smaller and the other is bigger. But in the wisdom of Kabbalah, external is that which we see. It's this world, trees, soil, the sun, clouds. This entire world, still vegetative, animate, people, stars, the whole entire universe. The wisdom of Kabbalah says that all this is the external world. Also man, in body, in this world, is external. Besides this, besides what we see, there is also the internal man and the internal world. And there is science of this world, which is called the external science or external sciences, physics, chemistry, biology, theology, geography, and so on. And there is a science of the inner world, which is called the inner science or the wisdom of Kabbalah. What's the difference between the two? The difference is that the outer world is an exact replication of the inner world. The only difference is that the inner world is concealed, hidden, and the external world is revealed to us. If we want to achieve inner life, independent of our body, independent of all that happens with us in this world, not to be born, get old, die, undergo the different events and occurrences of this life. If we want to live a more inner life, we have to reach the inner world. But when we reveal the inner world, we reveal that there is an even more inner world. And behind that inner world, the more we advance, the deeper we enter, we find an even more inner world. And behind that more inner world, we find an even more inner world. And thus, it turns out that besides our world, which is the world of Asiya, we have the world of Yetzira, Bria, the world of Atzilut, and the world of Adam Kadmon, and the world of Ensof, of Infinity. And it's the innermost world, the hiddenmost world, and there is our root. That is the place from which we've developed down to this great, big, but very coarse world. And from this world, we have to enter deeper and deeper inside into the spiritual world. It is the innermost world. It's the most concealed world. But when we reach it, we feel that it is the greatest of them all. That one is great in matter. And the innermost world is great according to its eternal, whole and perfect forces.